My name is Master Starman and welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Starting off with a gold banana in the very beginning of the episode because we opened that one up a long time ago and we just never got it. So we're finally going to get it in this one. In this part, we're going to be taking the Diddy Stir and doing some stuff with him. Because we have some stuff we can do with him. Now then... Something that was up here earlier that I didn't understand at all. Well, first of all, we this area is now open, opened up. And we can open this up with Diddy, finally. Yeah. I was wondering why that switch wasn't working before, but it's because it needed to be at night time. And this is finally gonna wait what Help. screw you bats you know what it gives this here for a reason let's turn that freaking machine on I said let's turn this freaking machine on. Wait, what is going on here? Oh, okay then. Alright. Uh, I thought I did that at first, but I guess it didn't work there for some reason. I don't know. Of course that creates a diddy pad halfway across the damn level. Why wouldn't it? Screw off, bat. <sighs> Let's go find that diddy pad. Which, I actually, I know where that is. It's just over here. Well, there is something else for diddy or over here. Yeah. This area does open up, a, there's a lot of stuff that's opened up in this spot for Diddy here, and actually, I'm just heading over here because there is something for Diddy I know of. This, oh, banana metal, first of all. This might be one of the first spots in the game where you might actually die at, because... Yeah, needless to say, this area is pretty... Uh, whoa, my god. Yeah, I normally do not do a jump like that, but I just did for some reason. On emulators, this is in possible to control like not really but, but like the lack of precision control on emulators makes this part of the game so so frustrating it's not even funny and that's the very first death of the let's play and I need to play this every freaking time good to know God dang it!
case squawks could maybe be a little bit better with that damn flashlight. Yeah, I don't want to go here at all. Squawks, turn around! Every now and then I get a little bit lonelier. Okay, then. Oh, that was... That was close and annoying. Oh, hey. I completely forgot about Banana Fairy so far. I do remember... I know where the other Banana Fairy is, too. But... Oh, sweet. Thank god that thing wasn't moving fast, but still, I was having pretty good luck with that one. Although, the next Banana Fairy is probably one of the more annoying ones to get in the game, and... <clears throat> okay, that was... <sighs> that works. I have a feeling it was probably easier to get doing that getting back than doing it to get there, but still. And I think that's it for this area, yeah. Let's go and try and find that other area. Oh, hey. Forgot about those guys. I didn't know they actually showed up here at nighttime. Skeletons are a new addition, though. And out of place ditty pad that's only used for opening a freaking golden banana thing, as far as I know. Yup. Let's go get that. At least this gave Diddy some actual use. I feel like all the Kongs now have had some pretty big uses. I mean, DK we're going to be using here in a second. Lanky... I don't think Lanky has anything else on top of the barn or on the, that barn thing or not. And I don't know if he has any use in this next area or not either. I feel like this is going to be the end of DK's stuff. Because I think he has like a splat here, maybe? First of all, there's some bananas here. This reminds me of Mad Monster Mansion a lot. Don't touch those thorn things or else Grunty will start yelling at you. Except, wait, no, that's a completely different game. LM. I also believe we have a strong Kong bear. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, that should be the last of the splats for this world, I think. Let me check. Hurry. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we have all the splats. So every tongue is an extra golden banana. Then, and actually, I just realized Lanky only has one more golden banana yet. He can't get his last one in this world. I often forget that. But this is the first level since like Angry Aztec that we need to backtrack to. Okay, then, let's get this. What did that go to? Okay, why did that home to the right? Like, seriously? I thought that was a lanky one for some reason, but no, it's tiny. Review game. Oh, okay, I did get that somehow. I bounced off him into the tag barrel. That was beautiful. Yeah, you keep doing that. Now then, this house for DK, I believe. Yeah, but we have a strong Kong barrel here. That actually does have some relevance, okay. Making sure. Yeah, you, you can't touch the thorns if that's not immediately obvious. Like these thorn walls will normally hurt you, and these things will normally hurt you as well. And 
remember seeing five bananas for DK as well. I think I got the ones on top of the mushroom. I hope the last five are just in here, but I don't know. Oh, this. Yeah, I should have expected this coming because this is where the... This is where the other banana fairy is. I know that for a fact. And I remember this being one of the hardest banana fairies in the game to get for some reason. Alright, sweet. Got all the bananas for DK there. And... Yeah, that'll create that. We have a time limit to get this. I don't remember if this is a difficult one or not. I remember something about this room being difficult. Oh, oh my god. If this is the minigame, I think it is. Crap, I'm not looking forward to this. Please don't be what I think it is. Damn it, no! I, uh, I knew something about this stupid level was difficult. Uh, here we go, minecart... Two cart minecart mayhem. This one admittedly sucks. Yeah. Okay, they both seem to be going in pretty simple paths here. Go here. Actually, yeah, this should work here. Yep, want it. Oh, ooh, that was close. I'm surprised I did that on my first try, because that, I remember when I played this on an emulator a couple years ago, that took me a long time. When there's two bombs on Minecart Carnage, whatever it was, it's a not the funnest minigame in the world. And, I said this before, but... There was something else for us in this room. And this should be the last of everything for DK in this entire world. Mm -hmm. I was trying to do that one-handed because... Wrong thing. I was trying to do that one-handed because I was trying to get a glass of my water- Or drink my water there. Really close up banana fairy. Not very fast moving either. So, let's just leave this freaking area. Okay, what bananas are we missing? There's one annoying one for Diddy I can think of. Can't- something for Chunky that I can't think of. Everything there, missing ten bananas for Tiny though. And I don't remember where my last one for- Er, yes I do actually remember. Alright, I'm gonna save the annoying one for last, but still. What are my banana counts looking like now, anyway? 457. Odd number. And, where is their- Oh, okay, I was gonna say, there should be a tag barrel around here, shouldn't there be? Or turn here in the... Actually, yeah, I remember where that thing for... I remember where that thing for Chunky was now. And... Was it number four that I wanted it? No, not number four. Number three? Actually, yeah, it should be this one. <laughs> And I don't think I'm going to take this entrance, I think I'm going to go up to number 5. Which is around here somewhere. Actually, it's on the other side here. Yeah, it's just over here. Okay, no, in number 5... I believe there's a couple doors here that are now exclusively opened at nighttime, such as this one here. I don't remember what this takes. Or no, is this one? Oh, a battle pad. 
Sure, why not? It's meant for Diddy, but I'm using Chunky. I don't even care. Kamikaze Kremlings. Oh, great. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there, but okay then. That works. Yeah, battle pads are gonna start getting a little bit on the harder side. Because, yeah, these guys are... A little bit tough. It's kind of funny seeing Kasplats in battle pads, though, because they always have random colored shockwaves. But yeah, for the most part, these battle pads are not that difficult. gonna charge this up because there's gonna be another guy who spawns immediately and there we go well played battle crown yeah we have a lot of those now too i feel like there's one in the overworld i'm missing somewhere because i think there's two of those in the overworld but i don't know where the other one would be at so now then there was an area inside the mushroom somewhere Somewhere, I'm gonna put, use that term loosely. Where we could only lead at night time. Or no, wait, actually, I got that. That was leading to the Chunky's Kasplat. Which I jumped down to. Yeah, because there was a spot, like, right... Here where I could jump down to and yeah yeah now the store is open I don't think there's anything in here for us though or I could be wrong last of chunky's bananas why do their Kongs still need all the bananas DK is missing or no DK has them all you're missing 10 you're missing a lot oh my like he's missing a lot you're missing 10 Damn. Really, I was thinking, I was hoping that was like right in the middle of everything, but. Actually, I know where there's a couple lanky, and I know where there's a couple Diddy bananas, I think. Lanky, I know for a fact, I know where there's a couple of his. And. Yeah, let's switch to lanky. I'm curious, because literally we. He still is missing at least one banana. One of them I know we can't get, but I know where some of his other ones are. Or I know where... I know where some of his regular bananas are, I should say. I feel like it would be in the area... Oh, there's a, some Diddy bananas there. Let me switch to Diddy so I can get those while they're on my mind. I'm just gonna be doing this because we don't have much else left of this world. This world didn't take me to a whole lot of time, but usually worlds in this game. Oh, there's the last one. Sweet. Now Diddy, I think, is finished up completely. Lanky, I don't think Lanky's unfortunately gonna get that same luxury, but I do know where a couple of his bananas are. <sighs> Chunky, I do know where his other golden banana is, though. Oh, wait. Yeah. I was about to say, I wonder what the... You can't real. I don't think... Unless you're Lanky, I don't think you can get up on top of this thing again. I felt... I thought Lanky might have had something up here. Aha! 
Yes, Lanky does indeed have something up here. And this is just going to be an enemy barrage, and I'm just going to play a musical instrument and get rid of all of them immediately. Ooh, bats, I'm so scared. Or I can't, actually, huh? Yeah, this. I think they try making you use the homing ammo here, but it's... A little bit on the unnecessary Yeah, that's a little bit... That's a weird golden banana, really. Alright, let's get that. Lanky, as far as I'm concerned, is finish up, finished up, I think. 92. I think there's eight bananas in the next tier, in where the other his other ones are. So... I seem to remember that being the case. My question is, how the hell do I get out of here? Right here, I think? Yeah. Really dark. Also, I really hope you can even see on the video preview, because I feel like this game is just naturally extremely dark right now. And I guess let's... Uh, frig, I need to... We're going to be doing another difficult one here in a second. Not really even the not really even that difficult, but still something that a lot of people don't like, including Nintendo Capri Sun. If you know if you've seen his let's play, you know which one I'm going after next, but I don't find this next one that bad. I mean, it's a little bit on the difficult side, but Okay, first things first, let's head over here, before I forget. And yeah, three bananas and a banana bunch. Who does this leave for bananas? That was weird, I paused when I had 99 there. You have everything, you have everything, you have everything, you have, you're missing 10. Okay, so, but I have all but... All but 10 bananas in this entire level. That's a good thing. I need to switch to Diddy. Which I don't know why I went the long way around there, but... I did. And Diddy's thing here is... Or actually, it's over here. There's a guitar pad. Could have done this a while ago, but you need to be at nighttime for this to work. And let's get some deja vu because we're gonna be doing something really similar to something from Angry Aztec. Speak to anyone without wings. Come back when you can fly. Well, we don't have wings, but we do indeed have the next best thing. I was gonna make some Paul McCartney joke there, but I couldn't think of anything on the spot. Let's show back up with wings. Let's see if you can fly through my course of rings around this tree. Yeah, we have this ring... Ring thing again. This thing is really not much different from the one in Angry Aztec, I find. But some people might find this still a little bit difficult. Especially because we haven't really used the jetpack a whole lot in the last couple, couple worlds. So if you do still find this difficult... Plus, this thing is also several laps as well, so keep that in mind. I don't find this really that bad, though. I don't consider this as hard as some other LPers made it out to be, particularly NCS, and I'm not trying to bash him in any way, but... And yeah, this thing is also two laps around the tree as well, so keep that in mind. The owl isn't as friendly as the vulture is, though, keep, so keep that one in mind, too. Like, he won't be as lenient if, you, if you're, like, behind or something. 
as that vulture was, but overall, I don't think this is that bad of a minigame, honestly. Just know, like, take your time, be slow with it, and it's pretty simple. And, woot! I knew I should have made the course harder, but I suppose they're in the prize. A freaking barrel. Not the banana, just the stupid barrel. That is a kind of tease in the face that basically means now for every, now on, every minigame you do will be stuff like that. To be fair, we're in the third last world in the game. And this is kind of a difficult one. Survive an onslaught of enemies, press the B button to shoot. Oh, and waste our freaking homing ammo again. I, why it does that, I have no idea, but... Yeah, this game... I don't think this minigame is as hard as others make it out to be, but... It's still a kind of difficult one. Just because, like, you're stationary, but honestly, I kind of like these top view kind of shoot shooter type games. So, yeah, because of that, like, I feel like I kind of like this. Kind of because, maybe I guess I played a little bit of, I play a little bit of, like, Robotron 64 in my spare time or something. I don't know, but. Yeah, I don't find that minigame as bad as others do. A lot of people think that's a really difficult minigame, but I I don't really for some reason. I enjoy it. Let's get our next gold banana. And... That only leaves Chunky's left, and let's finally straighten that stupid one out. Meet you guys back in the overworld. Or not overworld, but like the hub area of the world. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, actually. Does this do what I think it does? Because I played this before, but the conveyor belt wasn't moving when I played this earlier. God damn it! Really? Oh, for the love of Meowth. Uh, that is just terrible. Really? How did I miss? <sighs> whatever game. Just whatever. Yeah, now when you actually hit, drop these barrels on, once that thing's actually moving, you'll get this cutscene knowing that you're doing it right. So, let's do the stupid thing and shut it down again. Actually, I don't even know if we shut it down. I think we may have just broke it, but it's still wrong. Okay. Every golden banana in the level except one for Lanky. I can't do anything about that one yet. And I'm gonna do the snide stuff off camera and then go look for 10 tiny bananas, which I have a feeling I know where they are, but we'll get to that in that. So, yeah, meet you guys back here in a sec. Alright, so after getting 136 gold bananas, okay. Then I started the session off with 120, or no, I got 120 like middle of the session. I had 
yeah, I had like 110 at the start of this, and then got two bananas in the overworld, and I'm missing one still here. So yeah, our blue that's what our blueprint's looking like right now. Starting to get some more hints on it. We can obviously see the machine in the left-hand side, but we're starting to get some more hints on it. Pretty interesting. So... Let's go look for Tahani's other ten bananas, and I honestly think I know where they are. It's a guess, but I have an idea. Meet you guys back there in a sec. Okay, you see a splat here. Yeah, there's a purple balloon right above here. Screw up, homing ammo! Oh, I hate that so much. How I remembered that was there, Slim Kirby made that exact same mistake, forgetting where that was in his last play. So, yeah. Alan, let's just find a trough and scoff, and I know where there is one, actually, and I guess, yeah, I'll take it, I suppose. Or no, this is not. I need to find the f number five pad, which is actually just over here, never mind. There's one up, there's one up on top somewhere around here, so... And actually, I'm gonna end this episode off. We finish up in Fungi Forest next time, we fully finish up with the boss fight. I'll see you guys for that, and then, thank you for watching, peace out.